All right, my friend, Drew Canoli, thank you for tuning into this week's Saturday Strategy. Last week, we talked about the 23 things that you and I can do to cleanse our body. You've seen amazing results with it. We got flooded with comments, over 60,000 shares in two days, and that tells me that you love this type of information, and it's actually impacting the people that you care about. And that's why we do what we do at Fit Life TV. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be picking a winner of the juicer. But this week, we're talking about the 11 things that I eat on a regular basis to transform my gut health. I'm also gonna tell you what leaky gut is and the foods that you should avoid at all costs when restoring not only your immune system, but your gut. You see, your gut is responsible for 80% of your entire immune system. And I want you to do this exercise with me real quick. Come back over here. We're out here in beautiful Coronado, so sunny, California. I absolutely love this place. And I want you to do a visualization exercise with me. I love to go outside in nature and just visualize. I think it's really important. So what I want you to do is imagine the perfect day when you were absolutely the happiest that you've ever been. Who were you with? What were you doing? Imagine it for a second. How did you feel in that state when you were the happiest? Now what I want you to do is imagine that you only had 5% of the ability to be happy on that day. You see, 95% of the neurotransmitters, in particular serotonin, comes from your gut. And it comes to your brain, right? That's that happy molecule that we all want. We wanna feel those happiness, the moods. It's responsible for putting you in that state. And when you don't have it, when you have these glasses on that limit you to 5% of the happiness that you can experience, it changes your whole reality. You see, a lot of people are living like this. 55% of the US is experiencing leaky gut right now, or gut dysbiosis. And what that is, is the failure to actually proper absorb your food, properly absorb your food. See, it's no longer you are what you eat, it's you are what you absorb. And I've talked to you about this before. So how do we restore the gut? What things can we cut out so that we know that our little white blood cells, those little soldiers that you and I have in our bodies that are the first line of defense, can be strong, vibrant, and healthy? Let's talk about it. All right, come on in. Have a seat with me. I gotta sit down for this just because I've heard this recently in doing my research for this week's Saturday Strategy and I was disturbed. And I know you're gonna be disturbed with this. Know that at the end of this video, you're gonna have more than enough knowledge to go out and help impact people and help them heal their guts. But this is, this is gonna change everything. So 95% of the nation's corn is genetically modified, right? And one of the biggest sprays that they put on this genetically modified food contains a chemical that is an antibiotic. Antibiotics not only destroy the bad bacteria in your gut, but the good bacteria. So here we have a population that's eating genetically modified food. It's destroying the good gut bacteria in their body. Now we talked about white blood cells, right? So your white blood cells are always in your gut. They're restoring your gut, your leaky gut. And your body's defense system has plummeted. 80% of your immune system comes from your gut. So you don't even know most of the time that you're eating these genetically modified foods. They're harming your body in such a way to where disease, acne, skin issues, premature aging, all of this distress is being put on your body and you're not even aware of it. I think about my family in Michigan, I think about the people that I care about, the people that I love, and then everyone outside of that, and we're, we're force fed this information like, oh, it's okay, this is healthy, you're supposed to eat this way. And it's not like that. When clients come to us at Fit Life TV, we tell them what not to eat and what to eat to start to change that, to start repair the gut. I'm gonna tell you right now some other things that could be impacting your gut, aside from GMOs, okay? If you're a chronic user of ibuprofen, aspirin, different things like that that can totally disrupt your gut. I'm not saying cut it immediately because I know what pain is. Pain is not something you want to do, deal with, my friend. But you can start to try other methods. Turmeric, as an example, is one of the greatest anti-inflammatories on the planet. Start to supplement that. So sugar, dairy, wheat. Those are three things that cause more inflammation. It's harder for your gut to break down that stuff and it can cause more distress on your body. So those are other things. Artificial sweeteners, no go, right? I'm talking about sucralose, aspartame, other things like that. You have that friend, you're sitting there having their morning coffee and they put that pink little packet in their coffee. Smack it out of their hands next time and tell them, I gave you permission to do that, okay? I'm gonna get up, let's talk about the 11 things. Number one, kefir. I'm a big fan of it. I've been taking it for a while now. I've noticed a huge increase in mental clarity and my ability, good bowel movements, different things like that. Uh, water kefir is an extension of that. Umboshi, which is actually a Chinese plum that's fermented. They've been using it for over 3,000 years. It's absolutely amazing. Coconut oil, 
is another one, right? Coconut oil in your smoothie, putting it on your eggs in the morning, what have you. Coconut oil is one of my favorite oils to use in cooking. Sauerkraut is another thing. Put a little sauerkraut with your meal. Every single meal that you have, it's just more of those probiotics, more of that good bacteria that you need to build that colony up. Increase your white blood cells. Kimchi, the Korean dish. It's absolutely one of my favorite things to eat. It's spicy cabbage, fermented, right? Really good for your gut as well. Some supplements that you may consider taking, consult with your doctor first, is glutamine, MCT oil, aloe vera. We've done a video on aloe vera in the past. Absolutely amazing. You can get the plant or you can get the juice from Whole Foods or a different store like that. We have bone broth. Really, really good. Chicken, beef, what have you. It's incredible. Any omega-3s that you take, fish oil, algae oil, krill oil, different things like that are gonna help with your gut. Finally, number 11, and I'm a huge advocate of this, you know I am, because I've been preaching it for the past three and a half years, is green juice. You see, smoothies take two and a half to three hours to break down, rip apart the fiber, the food value you're not getting. You're probably getting 40 to 50% of it. When you drink a juice, it goes in your esophagus, through your digestion, small intestine, large intestine, through your stomach, out through your liver, and into your blood cell on the very mitochondrial level in about 15 minutes. That's like the ultimate healer, right? So you can get your green juice by making it in the morning, or you can do what a lot of our clients are doing, and they're absolutely loving it because I'm seeing their photos, I'm seeing their videos all over the world, is take our Organifi, which has the spirulina, the chlorella, the different things in there that are gonna help lower your stress levels, increase your health and vitality, make you just feel better. That's what all this is about. All right, so those are the 11 things. Now remember, the most common signs of leaky gut is mental fogginess. You wake up in the morning, you feel a little lethargic, you're just not clear any acne issues, uncomfortable abdominal pain, infrequent bowel movements, and not good bowel movements, right? Maybe you're having trouble losing weight. You're not absorbing your food properly. So you eat healthy food, but you're just not seeing any results. If you have any nausea whatsoever, frequent headaches, maybe some mood swings. Remember we talked about the serotonin. Maybe you're just depressed, you're not happy. You're not living fully vibrant. And that's what this is about, is living fully vibrant. So if you're experiencing any of those things, my friend, I don't want you to experience that. If you know anybody else that is, Send them this video, share it on your Facebook page, get this information out into the world so that we can transform as many lives as possible. All right, my friends, so you're probably wondering who won the juicer this week. Robin Gale Pugh won the juicer. She said she just turned 59 years old. She's tired of feeling like she's stuck. So I want this to be the catalyst for Robin, for her transformation. Now it's time for her to take control of her health and we want to send the juicer to Robin. So congratulations, big round of applause for her. We appreciate you for being a part of the community. As always, thanks for watching you guys. Next week we're talking about joint pain. I know a lot of you are experiencing it and I appreciate you joining me today in Coronado with me out on this beautiful day. All right, remember we're in this together. I'll see you next week. Sucralose. <laughs> hey, how do, what is it? Sucralose. Sucralose. Why do I say sucralose? I'm about to jump in the ocean and you guys are going to have to leave, so.